Hello lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube video, uh, my YouTube channel. I really hope that you enjoy today's video. It is all about wardrobe staples, wardrobe essentials for hourglass figures. So the first essential that I wanted to talk to you about, this is a no v-neck zone. By the way, I'm not gonna be mentioning v-necks in this video. It's not that I have anything against them, it's just that I'm a bit sick of the advice that if you have a larger bust, which most hourglass figures do, then you have to wear v-necks and that's all you can wear. Absolutely not the case. Actually, before I get into the actual wardrobe essentials I'll just talk about hourglass figures and what that means because you might be a bit unsure if you have one so an hourglass figure is basically that sort of shape think people like Marilyn Monroe and I suppose Kim Kardashian although some people say she's a pear she looks like an hourglass to me pears and hourglass is very similar anyway so generally it's big boobs small waist big hips and thighs I think the most famous examples of hourglass figures that aren't people don't argue against them, is Marilyn Monroe, um, Scarlett Johansson is an hourglass figure, and Salma Hayek, she is as well. I think they're the kind of three that people tend to lean towards whenever they're talking about hourglass figures. So it might be worth having a look on Pinterest if you're not sure how to dress for your figure and you think you might be an hourglass, have a look at how those women have dressed and see if that is something you want to emulate, or have a look at my previous videos all about how to dress for an hourglass figure. So the first essential that I want to mention is probably something that you haven't actually thought about being a wardrobe essential before but honestly once you add one of these to your wardrobe you will wear it so often and you won't know how you survived without them before. Ribbed knit midi skirts. They are so so good for our figure so I have one in camel and I have one that I'm actually wearing at the moment in white and I wear them so often they're so comfortable and they just suck everything in and just smooth you out and they just look really really good on our bodies. I often style mine with a jumper like the one I'm wearing today. I just, I either wear the jumper loose or I tuck the front in just to show off the shape of my body a little bit more. And that is pretty much one of the rules that we're always gonna come back to with hourglass figures. It can get a bit annoying. <laughs> and obviously you don't have to follow these rules all of the time, but if you do want to show off your shape a little bit more in your outfits and wear clothes that are flattering for you, then the rule to remember is to always show off your waist or subtly highlight it. You don't have to cinch it in. It doesn't have to be like, you know, Kim Kardashian <laughs> style. Buy items that tailor around the waist and show off that part of your body a little bit more or wear belts. That is the next wardrobe essential actually that I wanted to talk about and that is belts. I think a skinny belt in particular is definitely a wardrobe essential. I just have one in my wardrobe, it's from Lueve and it's in this really versatile tan colour. I love the top stitch detail, it's just a great belt. If you are looking for a luxury belt, I would definitely recommend these ones. They just elevate outfits really easily and they make an out a piece of clothing that might otherwise not suit your figure that well, they make it a lot more flattering. I manage just fine with just the tan belt, but for a capsule collection of belts, I would say you probably should go for a tan one, a cream one and a black one and that should do you just fine. In fact, you probably don't even need the cream one if you've got the tan. I like to go for the skinny and I think they are just more universally flattering. I think wider belts, it's a little bit more hit and miss and it might not look great with a lot of outfits. I'm also a bit averse to wide black belts because they always make me feel like Mrs. Claus. The next wardrobe essential that I wanted to talk to you about is something that's not actually in my wardrobe at the moment so arguable how much of an essential it is but it's certainly something that I would like to add for my work wardrobe and that is a pencil skirt. It just looks really really good on the hourglass figure. It does the same thing that the ribbed knit midi skirts do. It highlights your waist and then it just kind of smooths out the hip and the thigh area and it looks really good with jumpers and things like that tucked into it as well. Personally I I love a leather pencil skirt. I think these look really, really good for both smart and casual events. You can dress them up or dress them down. A classic black or gray one for the office works really well. And I think it's really good to look for denim midi skirts as well. These are really, really good casual pieces that still at the same time look quite smart and do show off your figure that little bit better. Something that every hourglass figure needs in her wardrobe is definitely a pair of high waisted wide leg trousers. Whenever I've worn a pair of trousers like this, I always feel that they just suit my figure really, really well. Obviously, the high waist shows off your waist, but then this more oversized fabric around the bottom half of your body, it just skims over everything. It shows off your shape without kind of clinging to it. And it just, I love the flow. I love the way that these trousers move. I love when clothes like move and they're fluid and they're not just really, really stiff. I think it really suits our bodies really, really well. Definitely a pair of camel 
wide leg trousers would be good to have in your wardrobe a pair of black ones as well yeah you could argue that you need that but i think more so than black because black can look very work wear and maybe something that you wouldn't want to wear outside of the office a pair of white wide leg trousers i think is definitely an essential i have my eye on the ones from audrey layton vintage over on instagram i'll pop a picture up here for you they're really really beautiful perfect for spring and summer perfect for going on holiday really good if you go to and um, if you're traveling to places where you have to cover yourself up a little bit more but it's still hot a pair of white wide leg trousers is really really handy for that that pair that i showed you is a little bit smarter so i do tend to wear those for work they can be dressed down as well but i just find that they look a little bit better for work um but you can definitely experiment with different colors and different fabrics so that you can go for a more casual style as well the next staple that i wanted to talk about is something you probably wouldn't wear this time of year it'd probably be more of a spring summer piece but crop tops i think look really really good on hourglass figures especially when paired with um, a pair of high-waisted trousers or a high-waisted skirt it does the same thing that a belt would do but it does it with an absence of material instead um, and it highlights that waist area and it's just really really comfy as well if you're wearing like an elasticated pair of collots or something like that it's just such a comfy look that still looks stylish and put together this is definitely one of my go-to styles in summer i think i shared quite a few mirror selfies in probably may and june last year and it was um, just always a crop top and a, one of the midi skirts so it must have been spring actually with a few statement accessories it's just like my uniform that time of year this cream crop top is from pretty lavish you'll find them absolutely anywhere on the high street at that time of year so just keep an eye out when all the spring summer stuff starts coming in um, but you can also emulate this look in winter as well if you get like a cropped jumper i have one to show you this is actually from a haul that i'm planning to film so you have to forget that you've seen this um, but this is a grey jumper from H&M and it's just a little bit more cropped so what I would probably do so that I can still wear this when it's really cold is wear like a nude thermal underneath and um, just so when you do catch a glimpse of that little gap and um, it still kind of looks like you've not got a thermal underneath but you are still going to keep nice and warm but if you were to wear this with again a ribbed midi skirt or a high-waisted pair of jeans or anything like that it would just look really good and it would flatter your figure really really well this next thing that i'm going to talk about is again something i don't currently have in my wardrobe but i have had many of these before so i can still talk about it and i will definitely be adding some again in the future that is a wrap dress um, it can be like a shirt dress style or it can just be a wrap dress like these classic minis that are about a lot. These are really great for occasions like New Year's, Valentine's Day. They yeah, come in an assortment of colours that work for so many different occasions and you can cosy them up or you can make them more appropriate for warmer times of year as well. So very, very versatile and they just look great on our figures. Personally, I love a midi wrap dress. I just find that I reach for these all the time, especially because I work from home. I only go into the office one day a week. So I'm always looking for things that I feel good in, but that are really, really comfortable as well. And wrap midi dresses are just perfect for that. I just put a cardigan over the top if I'm cold. And speaking of wrap clothing, the other thing that you want in your wardrobe, which I do have many examples to show you, is a wrap coat actually lately i've been wearing my wrap coats without the belt so i've been wearing them just loose um which is just a personal preference but i do love a wrap coat so i have this um black one from santini it has these gorgeous buttons on it and then a fabric belt to go around it also my green ted baker coat if you are looking for a quality coat wait until the spring sales ted baker always have really really good deals on these coats they go down from just over 300 to often like the 150 180 mark and they last forever they are really really good quality coats and they keep you really warm as well because they have a little bit of cashmere content in there i also have this camel one from ted baker this was the first one that i bought it's the same size as the green one but it's a lot tighter the green one is um, quite oversized so it just goes to show if one doesn't fit you it's worth trying it on again even in the same size but just a different item because they are made they're not all going to be made identical so one might fit you better than the other and then finally my Burberry trench coat which I got from Vista Village last year thank you so much for watching everyone I really hope you enjoyed today's video and that it was helpful to you again for you in future if you have any particular occasions or anything like that that you're trying to find outfits for or you need tips for just pop that below and I will get filming thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you next week bye